Hello and welcome to the Karen Sector. This is Andrew and today we are going to turn Cadian Shock Troops into Cultists for Iron Warriors. So I enjoyed the Reaver build, I enjoyed the Contrast build, and I said at the end of the Reaver build that I'd look to maybe doing some of these on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the lead cultist, the um, heavy stubber, which will be used the bolt gun from this kit, the flamer, and the grenade launcher. So we'll do those guys uh, on camera, and the rest will show up on Instagram. Please search for a Karen underscore sector on Instagram, follow along. Um, and yeah, so we'll have a look. So we've got to do a couple of things to these guys. So we don't actually need the transfer sheet. The instructions for these guys are reasonably straightforward and a lot of the pieces fit together. Um, so we'll just look to do that. So we've got the, I'm sure that many of you have seen the guard sprue, but this is the new one that comes with the extra head. So we'll look at using some of them like I say, we'll use the bolt gun to count as the heavy stubber. Stubber, Maybe give him the Vox backpack so he stands out, or maybe give that to the, the leader. I think the sniper will give to the, to make the leader stand out. And then the grenade launcher is on sprue there. The flame is on sprue. And then the uh, flame of backpack. Yeah, is there. the flame of backpack is there which means it's there on the throw I was looking at before because these are duplicates. So yeah, so what we've got to do is look for any Imperial symbols and the Aquilas. I'm just gonna take a knife. So we just need to do three of them just now and just carefully scrape that away. Because it's cultists, it doesn't have to be too neat. So Nyx and Dents in their armor are gonna, especially for Iron Warriors. Uh, they are always cut away from yourself. I don't think there's a special. I have to read the Chaos Bits box, see if there's a couple of maybe spikes or something we can steal. So we'll just take all of the Aquilas off. So I don't think I'll use any of these because there's lots of Aquilas on there. And any helmets, I'm gonna have to take the Aquila off the top. But that is three bits there. So I'll go take off some more Aquilas, build the three models if I want to look at, and jump back, back in for uh, the painting side. Okay, so I've got the four of them built up. So I've got the heavy stubber equivalent. Flamer guy is actually pretty cool. Then sniper for the uh, head cultist. I'm not sure what their name is. Aspiring something. Ooh. Let's check the book. What is the name of cultist champion? Ah, okay, cultist champion. Right. So the cultist champion can have the sniper, so he stands out. And then there is the grenade launcher dude as well. Uh, he didn't have any logos on the top there. So I've pulled out a few of these little bits. So I think this guy who's got no hair will get the top knot. I might see if one of these, these pieces will fit in the flamer. And then I want to take this rail, this rail off and maybe put it on the grenade launcher if that's possible. And uh, yeah, all right. So let's jump in and do that and see if that has any effect. So get a couple of chaos touches for them then. Uh, he's got the top knot. Makes it look more like leadery, but never mind. Uh, he got some claws. Uh, we got uh, a little extra bit on the backpack there for him. And then a spike rail for the grenade launcher. Uh, just a couple of little touches. Now I'm going to decide what color I want to spray these guys. I don't know whether to go silver, black, gracier, 
thinking silver because more silver detail. So we'll do that and uh, I have a collection of paints over here I've already picked out for what I'm going to do things. But we'll get them sprayed and then we'll come back. Okay, so I got them sprayed silver and um, give them a wash of thin down sil uh, lead belcher to fill in any gaps. So I'm thinking either Dawnstone or probably Celestric Grey for their uniform. But Rakoth Flesh for their flesh, which I'm gonna probably use some Grey Seer or some Ulthwan Grey, which I, oh, I have pulled out, uh, to, to thin that down and make it really washed out. Maybe give it a thin, really thin purple contrast or a purple wash see how that goes. So I think we'll start with their skin. So we'll do that first and then we'll come back in. So that's their skin tones done. Um, that's a good one. So yeah, I did a couple of layers of, where's it gone? Uh, a couple of layers of Reichland um, thinned down and then mixed in a layer of, a bit of both one let that dry, another layer of one. Then I really watered down this purple. And uh, where is it? You can, hopefully you can sort of see it in the, the recesses there. Then once that dried, I put a little bit of Reichland and then 50 50 Reichland Ulthwen just to just do some well, point highlights is on their noses, on their knuckles. Um, so this guy's head's got Reichland and then in the middle of that there's uh, a little bit of the 50-50 mix. And then I did Black Legion for the boots. So now I think I want to Celestra Grey. Yeah, Celestra Grey is a bit lighter than Dawnstone. So maybe I'll do 50-50 mix of these two. Uh, thin down, do that a couple of layers then mix in a bit more of this and then or maybe do like a, a semi dry brush wet brush of this so we're going to see how that looks I'll jump in um, as I put the first layer in so I've got the very very watery thin down 50 50 mix and let's see how that looks this is going to take a few layers to go over the the lead belcher but that's possibly actually what I want it to be. So I think focused and zoomed in. Try a bitch on his sleeve. So yeah, actually that's kind of what I'm thinking of. So we will get a couple of layers of just this base on all four models and jump back in and see how they look. So that's the 50-50 done. And I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm gonna do now, I think, is hit it with some rattling grime, maybe thin down, maybe do a couple of layers to see how I feel. So let's get. that going and the rattling grime so with the rattling grime I do really really like and we'll give that a mix around and then we shall just uh, liberally slosh it on give it a little bit of a wash all over we'll hit We'll hit everything with it as if it was like a, a wash, I think. So just deciding whether I want to uh, give these guys um, streaking grime or not. Thinking possibly not. Maybe hit them with more rattling later to see how that comes out. I think that should give them dirty enough. So when, when the rattling's died, I'm gonna take some Celestra Grey and give it just a, a dry brush. 
and see how that comes out. So they're all very dirty, dirty peoples. And then after that, all we have to do is put the blacks and the yellows on it for Iron Warriors. And maybe put some brasses on in certain places. Maybe a bit of the Balthazar gold. Make sure we get into all of the recesses. Right, I'll do the last two. And when they're dry, we'll do some uh, Celestial Grey highlights and then jump back in. So that's the four of them with the uh, bit of Celestra just uh, on a highlight and I've added in um, some reds for their visors there. Oh, I need to do some browns for the leather work, then figure out where, the, if, where any hazard stripes or if they've got a, a black shoulder, yellow shoulder. Um, might be a little bit of that for some of them, a bit of hazard striping for some of the others. And then the uh, guns need their like the heat marking done on, especially on the flamer. And then brasses and golds. And this guy's hair. Right, so do the hazard striping first and then we'll figure out what's next from there. Okay, so that's some hazard stripes and some yellows done on them. And I'm not happy. His top knot fell off and rolled away somewhere and I can't find it. So he's not got one anymore. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. But yeah, got some hazard stripes. And you can just about see them through the grime under there. And I've done the browns as well. So the only thing I have left to do is the gold. And brass, wherever that pot of paint has gone. I have to find that. Um, so we'll do some golden brasses along there, maybe the, the piping for him, and maybe the um, clip magazine, whichever one for him, and uh, yeah, we'll jump back in there. Excellent, so the brasses and the gold's done, and I added in copper for his pipe and that all got washed down with agrax i might just do more agrax around the bottom of them to add to the uh the grime make him a bit grimier but yeah they're looking nice and grimy definitely got some hazard striping and some chaos motifs so the last thing to do like i said add a bit more of agrax around the bottom to just make the bottom bits a bit dirtier and then do the I have no idea where that blue's come from. I haven't used any blue. Um, interesting. So we will take them off the bases, add in some mud and some grass, and then stick them back on and come back. And that's the four of them based and varnished off. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with uh, how they've come out. So I just need to do the six regular guys. It's a shame about his top knot. I think I'll have to get another box and get up to a, a 20 strong blob of cultists or two blobs of 10. I have the other cultists as well, but I think these are slightly more iron warriors-y than uh, the sort of other ones, but they could have picked up on the way. So, you know, that's what it is. Small heavy stubber, but you know, it's got a similar profile. Uh, all right, so. Thank you very much for watching the Ikaran Sector and uh, watching me put together these guys. Uh, check out our Instagram, Ikaran underscore Sector. These photos for these will probably already be up by the time the video goes up. And then check back in for the full squad of 10. Uh, do like, subscribe, join us in the Discord. Uh, we've got Kill Team coming up. We've got, um, oops, maybe more build and paint to come. Because um, I do have this lady we could paint up on camera or around the camera I suppose uh, I've got a few other things to come uh, I'm finishing off the terrain from the sisters box and then I'm moving back to sisters so we'll look into that and yeah so we will um, after you've done all that good stuff left a comment below left a like 
we will see you in the next video.